So I told Anna hi. So for this video, I will talk about the robot uh, fast learning and trajectory. Okay, uh, this part is the first level in robot control structures, and this will be the last chapter in uh, robots uh, fundamental. So when we look on the definition of fast planning and trajectory in terms of robotics, it's easily to say that. Uh, path planning and trajectory of the robots is the uh, common or the way that the a robot is moved from one location to another in the control manner okay so uh, this path planning also is a sequence of movement uh, for the control uh, movement between motion segment in straight line motion or sequential motions depends on the situations okay so some uh, trajectories uh, or motions of the robots uh, require both kinematics and dynamics of the robots okay so let's go back to the uh, uh, robot control structures okay so last time uh, in the previous video i had uh, discussed about the uh, uh, basic control structure of the robot as uh, in figures okay so trajectory is actually on the first uh, phase or on the first uh, part of the uh, control structure which is uh, will generate the uh, uh, common uh, for the robots uh, to move uh, from one point to another point okay and of course according to the time okay and then uh, this uh, uh, robot trajectory uh, we can um, uh, we can manipulate or we can control by another elements like uh, AI or perception system okay uh, that's why here uh, we can say that AI and robotics is uh, two uh, different elements which is uh, uh, niche each other okay it's because um, uh, robots and its AI systems uh, to make it intelligence okay and uh, uh, AI can be applied not only robots but also another systems okay uh, like here we can apply AI in trajectory planning and AI to the perception system itself and also AI to another robot control structures okay so the, the scope of AI is quite big okay uh, is uh, wider than the, the uh, if we say it's, uh, the AI only for the robots okay so the difference between uh, uh, path and trajectory terms in terms of uh, robots uh, okay the path is uh, the, the way of movement okay of the entities or the robot from one point to another point let's say we have this point a to point b so we have this certain uh, path okay but for the trajectory okay is concerned about the each part of the path okay which is we can cluster by the time okay like this all right for example we can cluster the the, the path uh, from t0 to t1 so what happened to the to the shape of the waypoint of the robots and t1 to t2 they have a kind of uh, cornering or curve okay in the robot path okay so we can cluster and we can justify or we can design the different paths uh, in the different uh, time range okay this is called a trajectory so um, uh, in the trajectory they uh, and path planning of the robots uh, they also have uh, two different terms okay uh, which is um, uh, they have a, a joint space and a Cartesian space because uh, in uh, robotics we have a joint uh, space uh, that according to uh, each joint of the robots okay and the Cartesian space which is according to the any factors and this the, the the Cartesian for each joint okay the XYZ's okay for the joint space uh, is focused on the uh, typical on the some of the joint of the robots so uh, in the description of the motion so there is more on the joint value itself okay and for this case it, it may difficult uh, for us to get the exact uh, point to point any factor motions okay. it's different to the Cartesian space uh, which is uh, 
the, the motion between two points means here for the case of robot arm is motion between uh, two point of uh, any factor movement and for the case of mobile robots is uh, the, the motion between uh, uh, one point uh, to another point in its uh, waypoint uh, path planning okay so in the robot path planning programming uh, we can divide it into uh, uh, four different uh, kind of robot path planning programming which is uh, uh, we can do a path recording offline path programming Cartesian trajectory programming and joint trajectory programming okay so Cartesian and joint trajectory programming um, uh, always happen in a uh, robot uh, design and development and pass recording and offline pass programming uh, method is always uh, in the commercial uh, kind of robots okay the, the factor that designer will concentrate or focus or emphasize is on the position on the velocities and the acceleration of the robots okay and another thing they need to um, focus on the precision of the motion itself to do some uh, operations and also to do some uh, prediction on the mid-range of the motion okay for examples uh, to have uh, emergency stops uh, for the robots when uh, it comes to the dangerous task or some accident happened surrounding okay in case of uh, robot path uh, trajectory re recording uh, this one uh, is uh, one of the I think uh, the, the, the favorable for the uh, user or technical support that in charge in the robots to do because uh, this kind of methods have a simple uh, in terms of program the robots because uh, they can move uh, the robot remotely and then they can make a recording okay the problem is uh, is on the accuracy okay and some drawback okay when um, it means that uh, when they have uh, some limitation okay uh, during teaching and also um, uh, it, it, it may difficult to, to, to handle some move okay for example the robot have a massive move and so that this method uh, have a uh, difficult uh, to handle uh, that move okay uh, this massive move uh, open uh, to the uh, hazard uh, uh, because uh, uh, this uh, method is recorded uh, during uh, the idle situation or the uh, previous uh, situations so when it comes to the accidents or uh, unknown situations so this kind of program uh, cannot uh, react to the sudden situation like that so uh, this is the uh, di difficulty or uh, this uh, the, the, the problem that face uh, by using the uh, uh, recording trajectory programming methods so we go to the another method in uh, commercial uh, robots uh, programming is uh, offline path programming okay this path programming is uh, also become the one of the favorable uh, method in the industry because uh, here we can simulate or make an offline uh, robots uh, path planning or motion design before we implement on the robot on site okay so we have a lot of studio right now okay including the commercial robots itself they have their own studios uh, for us to 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 make a simulations we make uh, 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 different motions uh, more controllable motions uh, before we implement or deploy in the uh, actual robots okay this is more safer than the the, the uh, recording methods another one is um, uh, Cartesian okay Cartesian's uh, programming okay Cartesian programming uh, is actually uh, focusing on the any factor which is applied on the uh, uh, offline programming or on the uh, recording programming methods okay this kind of uh, programming uh, always uh, apply in uh, uh, robots developments uh, let's say uh, in uh, robot uh, research and development project and this kind of uh, methods of uh, trajectory design always used when the, the system 
uh, have their own uh, inverse kinematics uh, module, have their own uh, forward kinematics modules because uh, this kind of uh, design needs inverse kinematics uh, to control the robots since uh, the, the, the base of this uh, programming is a Cartesian. It is different to the uh, joint trajectory programming focusing on the uh, single joint or several joints of the specific angles of the robots okay so the programming or the setting of the trajectory are on the uh, uh, joint of the robots not the Cartesian of the robots okay so in this trajectory design we do not uh, need the uh, such uh, kinematics modules such as uh, inverse kinematics or forward kinematics uh, because um, this uh, uh, kind of programming is a direct programming to the some particular joints uh, of the robots and this kind of programming may cost a lot of the computational uh, since that if it's applied on the very big uh, DOF of the robots uh, so practically uh, this kind of programming uh, is uh, used for the uh, robots with a small active joint or small degree of freedoms okay i think this is enough for the briefing of the path planning and trajectory in robotics so i hope you can continue uh, to watch my video on the next video for the robot and path planning so stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe thank you very much and assalamualaikum